Today, Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 has been leaked, and I'm going to be showing you the leaked skins, the leaked theme, and the leaked map. Guys, trust me, you do not want to miss out on this video, so make sure you're watching all the way to the end so you do not miss out. If you guys want to be on my Fortnite friends list right now and have a chance of being gifted, then all you simply need to do is go to never now, drop a like on this video, make sure you actually subscribe to my channel, and then simply comment down below right now if you have a gamer tag so I can actually add you, and I'll be adding loads of you guys. Anyway, let's take a look at the brand new item shop for today. So we've got the gold sand skins from quite a while ago, season 9. These skins are really, really cool. We've also got four emotes right here. We've got some more skins, all the superior skins. So if you're going to be picking anything up from the item shop, it would mean a lot if could I could use my crate code, which is simply just radar. Four letters it is literally one of the easiest crate codes ever to use. Type it in, click accept, and then you will be supporting me. And if you do end up using my code and you want to get a heart on one of your comments, then comment down below right now saying I used your code and I'll be hearting loads of your comments. Anyway, enough talking, let's get into this. So Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 has been leaked. You guys cannot miss out on this video, so make sure you don't miss out because this video is absolutely nuts containing all the Chapter 3 Season 2 leaks and more. But first, I'm pretty sure everybody loves to get free V-Bucks inside of Fortnite, but it's actually very rare that Fortnite will just give us free V-Bucks. But what if I told you there's actually a way that you can get 3,000 V-Bucks right now inside of Fortnite? If you own this bundle, the Deep Freeze bundle on screen right Right here, you might remember this bundle came out years and years ago. Well, basically, it did re release around about a month ago, and I'm guessing a lot of you guys might have actually picked it up then. Well, if you do have it right now, and then you go to your Xbox or PlayStation store, and then you search in Deep Freeze Bundle, you will see it there. And normally, you shouldn't be able to see it if you already own a bundle or like a pack or something. So, if you actually click on the bundle, it will cost the same amount as you did buy it for the first time. And if you purchase it again and then load up Fortnite, you will actually see you'll be rewarded with three thousand free v bucks obviously you're not going to get duplicates of the items that are already in the pack but fortnite will probably still give you the thousand v bucks that obviously came with the pack when you first buy it but fortnite decided to give you times three that amount of v bucks with three thousand v bucks which fortnite shouldn't have actually given you it's actually a mistake on fortnite's end i don't know if they're going to fix it but i definitely utilize this way of getting three thousand v bucks because if you go to the v book store look at the price and look at how much you'd actually have to pay to get three thousand v bucks you'd actually have to pay way over 20 pounds so getting 3,000 v bucks this way is actually a very good deal and a very good price to actually get 3,000 v bucks now i'm guessing most of you have already got the crescent shroom pickaxe which is actually the free pickaxe that fortnite gave us for all the downtime issues on the 29th of december but connected in with that pickaxe it's actually this skin on screen right here it's actually called the madcap skin and it's a very cool skin Fun fact, that skin's actually been leaked and in the files for almost two years. Yes, Fortnite has still not released it, but Fortnite will actually finally be releasing that skin inside of the item shop very soon. As Fortnite did state that they would be bringing the Crescent Shroom pickaxe out in the item shop for people that couldn't log on to Fortnite and obviously claim it for free. I'm pretty sure everyone's already loaded up to Fortnite to get this free pickaxe, but if somehow you didn't get it, it will be in the shop. And Fortnite's obviously going to release Madcap with the skin because it's literally Madcap's pickaxe and it's the pickaxe pickaxe for madcap he also will release with a back bling as well so all three of those items should be in the shop very soon and i wanted to let you guys know that madcap will finally be releasing after it literally been in the files since chapter 2 season 3 it's been years now onto the leaks about fortnite chapter 3 season 2 guys surprisingly we've already got quite a lot but the first thing i want to talk about is actually the release date if we check the battle pass right now it will say that chapter 3 season 1 will end on march 19th now not all Always is this day actually when the next season will start as normally seasons and updates inside of Fortnite if you didn't already know start on Tuesdays and March 19th does land on a Sunday so it would make sense if Fortnite released chapter 3 season 2 on the Tuesday which would make it March 21st there's just no reason for Fortnite to release it on the Sunday so I'm telling you right now it's probably gonna release on March 21st which is on the Tuesday so for the first chapter 3 season 2 leaks we've actually been shown it was actually by Tabor Hill in one of his YouTube videos. He actually said in his video that there will be a war against the imagined order and that there will be a drivable vehicle 
with turrets. Now, Sheena did post this and he said that everything is still subject to change though. But guys, for some reason, I think this information is actually very promising that it actually will be true for Chapter 3 Season 2 as we are already seeing loads of the Imagined Order, which is the IO, already in Chapter 3 Season 1. We've got two IO drill outposts actually on the map already, one of them being at Logjam Lumberyard and then the second one arrived quite recently at the bottom right of Greasy Grove. And we also know that we will be getting this Imagined Imagined Order bundle at some point inside of the item shop and in that bundle having that new skin that we've actually never seen before the big Brutus looking guy so Fortnite's already given us loads of new Imagined Order storyline and skins so it makes sense that this will actually build up into chapter 3 season 2 and with whatever happens with the IO drill outpost it's going to cause some sort of war against the Imagined Order and then going on the total opposite side of this the 7 has also been a big part of the storyline this season with the secret skin obviously being the foundation skin but also one of the rockets getting launched as well at the sanctuary and Hypex did actually mention this and he said that if Epic recreates the concept of chapter 2 season 2 but with the IO and the 7 it will be the greatest season ever considering that season 1 will send us into season 2 with straight good vibes and that the IO and the 7 are two completely different factions which brings many weapons slash items possibilities. I also think that there's a very high chance of Fortnite doing something similar to that, maybe not exactly. But if you think about Chapter 2 Season 2 and the amount of success that that season had, not just in Fortnite terms, but also a lot of people's favourite seasons of Chapter 2, is that season with Deadpool. The Ghost vs Shadow, Fortnite might actually replicate that whole concept of that season with one side versing the other side. Obviously it was Ghost vs Shadow back then, but we might have it as the 7 versus the IO. I think that that idea is absolutely amazing and I want you to let me know down in the comments right now what do you actually think of that kind of like concept but also the leaks we've already gotten. I also cannot forget about the mounted turret on the vehicle that Tabor Hill also mentioned. Obviously we've never seen a vehicle inside of Fortnite actually have a weapon attached to it I don't think and with Fortnite always bringing in new and original stuff into the game I'm pretty sure that's probably going to happen within next season as I also think it was leaked quite a while back that that would actually happen at some point. Now you cannot miss out on this part of the video because I have the tilted the towers released it. So on the 7th of January, we actually moved to the second stage of the snow melting. It didn't really take much snow away from the map. And then on the 10th of January, we moved to the third stage of the snow melting. And as Tilted Towers gets revealed and pops up as a new location on stage 6, that's when we're actually going to be able to go down and drop at a new location, which is obviously going to be Tilted Towers. But also when we hit stage 6, we should actually get the new IO Cave POI, the new Butter Cake Animal, grenade launchers, and probably a lot more. Sheena has says that 19.10 has been added to the staging servers. It will be released next week, which means this massive update containing Tilted Towers, the new Covert Canyon POI, that's supposed to be the name of it that was seen in the Boba Fett trailer, and all the other stuff will be released on the 18th of January. And then today, when you're seeing this video, we will have got the weather changes and the flare gun unvaulted today. But we won't be able to explore the whole of Tilted in its like full form without any snow until the 20th. 25th of January. That's when there won't be any snow on the Tilted Towers part of that area. So on the 18th, we will get Tilted Towers, but it's not going to be the full version like the OG version. We all love to drop out all them years ago. Anyway, guys, this video has been absolutely nuts with all the Tilted Towers leaks and all the new updates, the Madcap skin finally releasing, and of course, Chapter 3 Season 2 being leaked, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go down there and I'll drop a like on this video, guys. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and then also use my credit code code radar in the phone item shop guys it is literally four letters one of the easiest codes ever and yes i will see you later